Imagine soaring through the sky, side by side with military jet fighters. No cockpit, no controls, just you and your jetpack. That's exactly what ER Eve Rossi did. This fearless engineer flew his custom-built Jetman jetpack in formation with Alpha Jet fighters. And this wasn't his first mind-blowing stunt. He's previously zoomed past Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa, the tallest skyscraper in the world, and even cruised alongside a massive Airbus A320. And yes, every single stunt was captured on video. Rossi's journey began back in 2004 when he started developing what would become the Jetman Rocket Pack. Unlike traditional jetpacks, this one doesn't rely on any mechanical wings. Instead, the pilot controls flight using only their arms, legs, and head, turning the human body into the steering system. This beast can hit speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, that's around 186 miles per hour. With a full tank, it can stay airborne for about 10 minutes. But here's the catch, it doesn't take off from the ground. The pilot needs to launch from a helicopter or an aircraft, and when it's time to come back to Earth, a parachute handles the landing. Now let's rewind to July 14th, 2019, a military parade in France. Among tanks and troops, something straight out of science fiction took center stage, the flyboard air. This futuristic flying platform turned heads with its raw power capable of reaching speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour, soaring to altitudes of three kilometers and flying nonstop for 30 minutes. Oh, and it can carry a human and cargo with a combined weight of up to 200 kilograms. But during that public demo, the machine was reined in. Its top speed was limited to 140 kilometers per hour, flight height capped at 150 meters, and it stayed airborne for about six minutes with a 100 kilogram payload. The pilot? none other than Frankie Zapata, the inventor himself. He took off in the heart of Paris, cruising over the Champs-Élysées on a turbine-powered hoverboard, right in front of President Emmanuel Macron and a crowd of EU leaders. And just to drive the point home, he was holding a rifle mid-flight, clearly signaling the military potential of this tech. While the flyboard air is impressive, it's still a work in progress. Engineers are focused on improving its stability and maneuverability before it's ready for real-world missions. A Russian startup is taking personal flight to a whole new level. Meet the Overbike by Overserve, an all-electric flying motorcycle that blurs the line between sci-fi and reality. Classified as an ultralight vehicle, the Overbike doesn't require a pilot's license to fly. That's right, you could literally ride this thing without years of aviation training. This futuristic machine, officially known as the Scorpion 3, features a carbon fiber frame, keeping its total weight down to just 114 kilograms. It's powered by a 12 kilowatt hour hybrid battery, giving you between 10 to 25 minutes of airtime depending on weather conditions and the rider's weight. But here's where it gets really cool. The overbike can also be flown remotely for up to 40 minutes in unmanned mode. Designed for urban practicality, the Scorpion 3 is compact enough to fit through a standard doorway and it can take off or land from an ordinary parking space. In the air, it hovers up to 16 meters, about 52 feet, above the ground and hits speeds of up to 96 kilometers per hour, though local laws may cap that depending on where you fly. Want one? You can pre-order now with a $10,000 deposit. Just be ready to pay the full price tag of $150,000 once it's ready to launch. Let's talk about a real-life hoverboard, yes, the kind we used to dream about as kids. Back in 2015, Alexander Deru made headlines when he introduced the world to his flying creation, the Omni Hoverboard. And it wasn't just a flashy demo. He soared 276 meters over a lake, reaching a height of five meters, and earned himself a spot in the Guinness World Records for the longest hoverboard flight ever recorded. Since then, this Canadian inventor with Romanian roots has been hard at work developing a commercial version of his airborne board. And he's not just dreaming anymore, he's already secured patents for the design. The Omni hoverboard uses eight high-speed propellers to lift off. Right now, its battery allows for about 90 seconds of flight, which might not sound like much, but it's a huge leap for this kind of tech. And the best part? Duru's actively working on boosting that flight time, pushing the limits of what's possible in personal aviation. Jetpacks aren't just for superheroes anymore, they're getting real fast. Meet the JB-11, the latest high-speed jetpack from the American company Jetpack Aviation. Unlike earlier models, this beast can blast through the skies at speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour. That's nearly 200 miles per hour. The prototype first turned heads at CES 2018, and since then Jetpack Aviation has been leading the charge in taking these machines from hobbyist prototypes to real-world production. 
While jetpacks were once just custom one-offs built by enthusiasts, several companies, including Jetpack Aviation, are now working on full-scale production. What sets the JB-11 apart? It's powered by six turbojet engines, not two, giving it incredible lift and speed. With that much thrust, it can reach altitudes of 4.5 kilometers and stay airborne for about 12 minutes on a full tank, covering distances over 30 kilometers in a single flight. And this isn't just for fun. Dubai's civil defense has already placed orders. Their plan? Use jetpacks like these to access high-rise buildings during emergencies where traditional firefighting methods fall short. The age of flying first responders might be closer than we think. Just a few years ago, the Martin jetpack felt like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Wild, futuristic, and kind of unbelievable. But now, it's nearly ready to hit the market. This flying machine made its public debut at an air show in Dubai, and ever since it's been quietly progressing toward reality. The Martin jetpack can reach speeds of up to 75 kilometers per hour and soar to nearly a kilometer in altitude. What makes this jetpack stand out is its potential safety. The manufacturers even claim it could become the safest personal aircraft in the world. Unlike electric flight systems, the Martin Jetpack runs on regular gasoline and can cover up to 50 kilometers on a single tank. And if you're wondering what happens if fuel runs out mid-air, don't worry. It's equipped with an automatically deployed ballast balloon designed to bring the pilot down safely. The price tag? Around $250,000. But this isn't just a toy for thrill seekers. According to the company, emergency response teams will be first in line to use it, followed by agriculture workers, oil and gas crews, and only then will it become available to the general public. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Which one of these flying machines blew your mind the most? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.